Do you want a chance to win your very own copy of Three Houses? Share this video with the hashtag FED giveaway for your chance to win Fire Emblem Three Houses. Winner will be announced on Friday. The goal of this video is to give you a spoiler free guide to building an army in Fire Emblem Three Houses. That being said, this will be a fairly general guide that will apply to the entire series in some way, shape, or form. Fire Emblem Three Houses is going to allow the player to customize their army in any way they want. With that, there are sure to be a lot of questions as to how you should customize your army. This guide does not need to be followed, but if you find yourself having a rough time in Three Houses, these tips may help you moving forward. Number 1. Movement now, many fans of the series will see movement and think that I'm referring to playing the game with a low turn count in mind. And while a high move stat makes it easier to LTC the game, it also gives the player more options on any given turn. Maybe you accidentally left your healer in the range of an enemy. Your high movement unit will have a better chance of reaching them than other units. Or maybe there is a time sensitive map objective, such as rescuing an NPC or a village. High movement on a character will make it easier to protect units, attack enemies preemptively, and reach objectives more quickly. The more move, the better. But keep in mind that it can be easy to overextend. Sending a high move unit in the middle of a group of enemies by themselves can lead to the untimely demise of a powerful character. Traditionally, units with high movement are mounted units like Pegasus Knights, Wyvern Knights, and Cavaliers. As a sidebar to the topic of move stats, Units who can fly, such as Pegasus Knights and Wyvern Knights, can ignore terrain, making them tremendously useful in reaching important areas of the map that are blocked by forest, mountain, or desert tiles. Number 2. White Magic or Staff Users are imperative. Units who lack major combat ability and that are fragile may seem like a hindrance to your army, but units who can utilize White Magic spells are going to be extremely helpful in your quest to unite the Houses of Fodlan. White magic, or staffs from previous games in the series, can be used to heal injured allies, but also perform other tasks such as warping or rescuing allies to and from distant spaces and giving your allies buffs. In Fire Emblem Fates, there were also staves that could be used to freeze or debuff enemies, but we aren't sure if those are returning in three houses. Having a white magic user or two or even three sometimes can make your time with the game much easier. Just because a unit is unable to attack does not mean they are not useful. Number 3. Dancers in Fire Emblem, Dancer units can allow other allies to move again in the same turn. While the argument could be made that you could just deploy another combat unit rather than deploying a Dancer, let's consider this. On any given map, you can only deploy so many units. Let's say 10 for the sake of this argument. For your 10th slot, you can bring your 10th best combat unit or a dancer who can allow your best combat unit to attack twice. On top of that, dancers can allow healers to heal twice per turn, and they can help your high movement units move twice as far to reach important map objectives even quicker than they could before. So as you can see, dancers allow for options, and options allow the player to get out of sticky situations. So consider adding a dancer to your squad rather than a 10th combat unit. Number four. Unit diversity is not necessary. It may be nice to look at an army full of different classes and weapon types, but it is not necessary. It is okay to have two or three paladins or pegasus knights when there is plenty of high movement activities to do. It is okay to have more than one armor knight if that is something that will help you beat the level you are on. Multiple healers is almost always a good thing as well. It may not be the most satisfying thing to look at, but having more of a good thing is never a bad thing in Fire Emblem. Number 5. Make your army your. This may sound cheesy, but I mean it. There are nearly infinite possibilities as to how you can construct your army in three houses. Feel free to experiment and create an army that suits your playstyle. Maybe you want to take your time, so movement isn't as important to you. Or maybe you like beating chapters as soon as possible, so Paladins of Wyvern Knights are necessary for your success. It all comes down to your personal preference and what's fun for you. Thanks for watching, friends. Make sure to leave your army building thoughts in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe for more Fire Emblem discussion. And don't forget to share this video on social media with the hashtag FED giveaway for your chance to win a copy of Fire Emblem Three Houses.